friends welcome back to my channel on statistics if you are seeing my videos first time then do subscribe in this tutorial i am going to explain multivariate normal distribution multivariate normal distribution related to the csir and gate exam we all know that multi multivariate normal distribution at least we get three to four questions three to four questions in gate exam okay in csir also but topic is very less in multivariate normal distribution first we can see the syllabus of multivariate normal distribution okay this is the syllabus of multivariate norm normal distribution related to the gate first we have multivariate normal distribution properties then we have conditional or marginal distribution then mle of mean vector and special matrix then hotel density square then we short distribution and its basic properties and multiple and partial correlation coefficients and their basic properties in this tutorial i will my will explain about properties and conditional and marginal distributions later we can discuss about mle then we can discuss what and t square with all things also okay see in we all know that what is the normal distribution normal distribution is the central part of central see this is a normal distribution curve okay it will be it will be like this this is symmetric curve okay here mean median model all, all are equal to zero okay so what is the pdf of uni in inverted case we have one upon sigma root 2 pi okay one upon sigma root 2 pi then we have exponential exponential of in 2 x minus mu upon okay mu upon sigma whole square this is the pdf of in numerical is for normal distribution here x lies between minus infinity to plus infinity and sigma is always positive then mu lies between minus infinity to plus infinity now for bivariety also we already discussed bivariety also, also it is also simple here we get two variances then here rho is extra okay we can discuss this thing also okay first we can see in in numerical case we we all are know what what is the role of normal distributions okay then we move to the bivariate after bivariate we can discuss about multivariate then we can discuss some important properties and results with examples also okay this is the bivariate normal distribution pdf okay i all i all one thing i refer one book that is called tw anderson book okay tw anderson book for multivariate then richardson book okay these two are important and very easy way to understand the logics and all things also with lot of examples also given in richardson book but tw anderson it is high standard book okay this is the pdf of bivariate normal distribution see one upon sigma one one sigma two two one this is extra in fact how this will become is when you solve the derivation you can got this here expected value of x1 equal to mu1 and expected value of x2 equal to mu2 then we find covariance when you find covariance that time you will get these all things okay then exponential form one upon this is also related to the correlation okay then this will be this will be automatically from exponential distribution when we have square a minus b whole square like that then we get a, a minus b whole square then a square minus a square plus b square minus 2ab okay this will be a derivation you can refer book also but we don't need derivation you can just remember this form okay when you remember this form then will this will be enough okay now we can see multivariate normal distribution this is the pdf of multivariate normal distributions when we see here in you can just generalize this from invariate case also okay when we have one upon sigma root 2 pi okay one upon sigma root 2 pi okay here root 2 pi power p upon 2 means p by 2 means here p to root p to root means we are taking p components here we are taking p components then sigma here we take dispersal matrix as a sigma okay 1 upon sigma root 2 pi okay it will be up, up to now this clear then we have exponential form in exponential form we divide why we take this form means we need we need order is one cross one in one thing remember in exponential form order should be one cross one so we can take this here x is okay, x minus mu 
sigma inverse sigma inverse is n cross n matrix c when you observe c i will tell you okay x minus mu whole square divided by sigma square square like that it will be in inverse case okay in inverse case minus of in exponential form we have minus of here minus of is already there then sigma square x minus mu whole square why sigma inverse k means this is the why this comes because of order if okay this speed this uh, what we call the derivation also available in books you can refer also okay we can we are taking x minus mu transpose then sigma inverse okay then x minus mu again then it should be order must be comes on one cross one okay uh, it should be one cross one okay here what is the order actually x is matrix then this will be like this okay x1 up to p components okay x1 up to xp then mu also same like this then what is the order for x minus mu what is the order for x minus mu means p cross 1 okay p cross 1 for x minus mu when we transfer this it will becomes under 1 cross p here 1 cross p okay here again p cross p okay then here p cross 1 finally matrix should be 1 cross 1 okay final matrix should be 1 cross 1 See? we shall denote this is the p dimensional normal density by it is the these two are parameters mu 1 sigma which is analog of to the normal density in the univariate case okay now we can see some properties related to the multivariate normal distributions the following are the true for a random vector x having a multivariate normal distribution linear combination of the components of x are normally distributed means if you take the linear combination for example i'm taking with a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus and so on a and x and it also follows normal distribution okay this is the meaning we can see seen in results also all subsets of components of x have a multivariate normal distribution okay then zero covariance implies that corresponding components are independently distributed remember this result this results were valid only in normal distributions okay if covariance is zero then we can say that components are independent directly with in which case normal distribution only remaining distributions is not valid for this statement okay in only normal distribution okay the conditional distribution of the components are normal okay when you find the conditional distribution for example i need x1 given x2 okay this this is also follows normal distribution with some parameters okay we can discuss this thing also okay now we can see these are all the important results okay if sigma is a positive definite we all know the positive definite means all eigenvalues should be positive all eigenvalues should be positive okay then matrix should be symmetric then we can say that sigma is a positive definite so that sigma inverse is existed because when all eigenvalues are positive then that is not equal to zero when that is not equal to zero then sigma inverse possible okay then sigma e equal to lambda here lambda are the eigenvalues okay implies the sigma inverse e equal to one upon lambda e this is the result okay you can easily remember you can easily visualize this so lambda and e is an eigenvalue and eigenvectors pair of sigma corresponding to the pair of one for lambda comma e is a, for sigma inverse also sigma inverse is also positive definite okay and these are the standard results See, this is the linear combination result okay if x is a distribution as normal distribution with p components mu and sigma then any linear combination of variables a dash x a1 x1 plus a2 x1 and so on ap xp is distributed as a dash mu and a dash sigma a why because this means we all know that expected value of ax is equal to a expected value of x but when we find here dispersion matrix that time order should be equal so we can take the first we can take transpose then we can take sigma matrix then again a this because of order okay also if a dash x is distributed as a dash mu a dash sigma a for every a and then x would be n cross mu okay this is uh, this result also clear now we can see one more result this result is also important okay if x is distributed as a normal distribution with p components mu and sigma the q linear combination this is a linear combination in vector field okay this is a matrix 
he distributed as n n normal distribution with q components and a mu and a sigma a inverse this is important okay observe result from the previous result here we have a inverse sigma a but here we have a sigma a inverse okay a sigma a inverse for matrix combination okay this here d is the dispersion matrix and all things also this will see all subsets of x are normally distributed if we respectively partition of x its mean vector mu then covariance matrix. see this is very very important result okay when you we are dealing with any matrix when then we divide the sub matrix into different different for example we have four class four matrix then we divide for example i have four class four sigma matrix then i divide that matrix into two class two by applying this rule okay then i take i am taking it as this is sigma one two matrix i'm sorry sigma one one this is sigma one two this is sigma one three oh, sorry sigma two one then this is sigma two two okay then only we can apply either apply for finding mean for finding covariance and all things also for example i have six class six matrix then procedure is same okay this is the x matrix this is the mu matrix from next results you can clear okay this results is the previous ball are same okay i already tell this results okay yeah this result okay this result is important like x this is our partition the x1 is one vector here x2 this is defined as normal distribution with few components mu1 sigma with mu this is our mean this is our variance covariance matrix then sigma 2 2 should be greater than 0 the conditional distribution of x1 given x2 see here what they say conditional distribution of x1 given x2 x1 given x2 so then what is the formula for finding parameters of multivariate normal distribution is this for finding mean mu1 plus sigma1 to sigma2 to inverse x2 minus mu2 for covariance sigma1 minus sigma1 to sigma2 to inverse sigma21 remember if for example we need to find the conditional distribution of x2 given x2 given x1 x2 given x1 then what is the formula x2 given x1 means you can just interchange with 1 in place of 2 2 in place of 1 for example you have we have here mu1 we can just change mu2 here sigma 1 2 we have here we can interchange sigma 2 1 then we have sigma 1 1 inverse then x1 minus mu1 okay for mean for covariance also same here sigma 1 1 is there we interchange with sigma 2 2 minus sigma 1 2 is there we can interchange with sigma 2 1 sigma 1 1 inverse sigma 1 2 okay here note that covariance does not depend on the x2 conditional okay this will be the note this question is important during practicals also okay this result is important okay this 4.7 result is related to the testings okay let x is a distributed as a normal distribution with p components mu one sigma with sigma is greater than zero then x minus mu inverse sigma minus x minus mu is distributed as chi square p components this chi square p denotes the chi square distribution with p degrees of freedom okay this is testing part we can discuss details in testing part also okay this is also okay this is finding for upper percentiles and lower percentiles okay okay this results 4.8 results says for part let x1 x2 and so on x mutually independent with xj into okay this is the standard result i think okay for giant multivariate normal distribution we can discuss it in details okay we can discuss deta details in testing parts so up to now we cover in syllabus properties we cover conditional distribution we cover marginal distribution we cover from next video we can cover maximum likelihood distribution before maximum likelihood distribution we can cover examples from previous year papers okay from previous year question papers we discuss example related to the multivariate analysis okay with which which topics and related to the multivariate normal distribution properties and conditional and marginal distribution like what is the independence of the given vector like that they give some matrix mu and then they give the special matrix then we need to find the independency i think previous year also asked that question okay
okay friends up to now if you have any doubt you can discuss with me okay from later we can discuss about maximum likelihood estimation of mean vector and dispersion vector what are i think maximum likelihood estimation we can discuss later we can discuss what multivariate is simple compared to the all okay thank you for watching